Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Richard Travel. Uh, I'm a Chartered Civil Engineering <coughs> Project Director. I first lived in Rutland from 1969 to 74, and I returned to live in Rutland in 2000. The question which I would like to ask relates to one out of a dozen possible greenfield sites put forward by Wissendine landowners and it's denoted as 09A, and you all, most of you have a photograph, a nice <coughs> photograph, to show this particular site, which is Comcast. And this site is provisionally allocated into the local plan. Um, to facilitate clear understanding, I will summarise the context, and then ask the question... But could you move to your question? I will, I will move to the question. Sorry, could you move to your question, yes. please? Yes, okay. May I give a, a, a half a minute of context first? Uh, no, I, I, you've introduced yourself. I think that is sufficient context. We understand where you're from and who you are, and that's all, all that needs to be known. I think we just want the question now, please. Okay. Given the facts of the context which I would have explained, the key question is why does the local plan seek to develop and thereby to harm this historical landscape especially when there are other sites available. Within this question, why are there errors and emissions in some studies? Um, sorry, Mr. Strava, I, I hate to interrupt you again, and apologies for that, but you do have to read the question as submitted to us. Thank you. Please. Okay. In that case... Try to put in some context to make it easy for people to to pick up. Would you like a copy of your question? No, I, I have it here. Thank you. Okay. All local and national policies seek to preserve and conserve landscapes with historical and heritage value, including the national planning policy framework. Rutland County Council's policies and National England's policies and the draft local plan, local plan itself, especially where other sites are available. So again, why has uh, Rutland County Council proposed to develop and thereby to arm or destroy a landscape on this site where, where well-preserved and high-quality medieval ridge and furrow landscape is a prominent heritage feature when there are other sites available? The Historic Environment Records Office confirms that this is a site of Selected Heritage Inventory for Natural England, reference LE7796, with high significance because of its heritage value with well-preserved medieval ridge and furrow landscape. Contributor to this, why has um, Rutland County Council failed to correct some important mistakes in their landscape sensitivity and capacity study? after they have been advised in writing since corrected inputs show that this is a low to medium capacity site and this leads to a different ranking of sites for allocation. And further contributor to this, why does the sustainability assessment fail to recognise or describe and account for the historic and heritage nature of this site's uh, landscape? That completes the question. Thank you, Thank you very much. Uh, you will appreciate that it is a, a technical and detailed question and as a consequence I have asked officers to prepare a response which I will read out now. As Chairman of the Growth Infrastructure and Resources Scrutiny Committee I must advise the questioner that I was not involved in the production of the papers before us tonight. However, I have asked the officers who were responsible to provide a response which I am reading out. The planning policy team replied to Mr. Travel on 19th of August 2019 regarding his comments as follows. Your concerns were forwarded to the consultant. Subsequently, they revisited the preparatory work undertaken during the preparation of the landscape sensitivity and capacity study of land around Wissendine. The consultant responded they were happy with their assessment of Zone W2 in the report of which site WHI stroke 09A in the draft local plan forms a part. It's accurate and robust. 
The area that the council has identified as WHI stroke 09A is similar in character, landscape sensitivity, and capacity as the majority of zone W2, which is relatively extensive, extending